guys welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series now we're still on with our pasta series edition and i'm about to show you how to make one very mouth-watering pasta dish so today i'm going to show you how to make corned beef pasta yummy right <laughs> let me introduce you to the ingredients for this recipe, you would need 200 grams of spaghetti, one cooking spoon of vegetable oil, one medium-sized onion bulb, three tablespoons of tomato paste, five red scotch bonnet peppers, also known as atarudo, four fresh tomatoes, three garlic cloves, two large carrots, 340 grams of corned beef, one cup of beef stock, one large green bell pepper, two seasoning cubes, half a teaspoon of curry powder, a quarter teaspoon of thyme, and some salt to taste. Okay, so before we start with the cooking process, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can join this amazing family and also get instant notification whenever I upload a new video. There's so many other video tutorials coming up on the channel and you do not want to be left out, I promise you guys. <laughs> okay, so moving right along into the cooking process, over here on my stove top, I already have some oil that's been heating up on medium heat. What I'm going to do next is just going to transfer my chopped onions and I'm using some red onions but you can use the white ones if that's what you have. Now, I didn't mention that this recipe is a really super speedy one, very fast, something that can be done in less than 25 minutes. It's been tested and tried and I'm about to prove it to you all. <laughs> so everything is good, all right, and let's use the whole lot of onions for this recipe. Because I, I not observed that onion adds a lot of sweetness. It's really sweet, guys. So I'm just going to saute that for about 30 to 45 seconds. And notice how I slice the onions in really nice and tiny strips. That's how you want to, you want to slice. Next, I'm going to grate in some garlic cloves. I'm using about two garlic cloves. If you've been watching this channel for a while now, you know that. I do not cook without garlic. That's like a no-no in my kitchen. Okay, so that's the second one done. And give it another stir. Oh Lord, this smells so good. Next, I'm going to throw in some tomato paste. Now, this is just tomato gotten from the tin. And I'll just fry it a little bit for about a minute or so. going to help with the it's going to lend some color to the dish and of course some flavor as well so let's leave that to fry around so we just want to continue stirring so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan okay so next up i'm going to throw in my chopped fresh tomatoes Here we go! <laughs> and also some chopped cut bonnet pepper now these are at Tarodo. that's what it's called over here in this part of the world i'm in nigeria by the way filming from lagos nigeria so all of the pepper goes in i'm feeling like really but that's a lot of pepper yeah i like my food really hot it's very spicy okay so i'll just get this going it's already coming together perfectly and i like what i see My nose like boom. <laughs> Next, I'm going to throw in the chopped carrots as well, just so that it starts to cook gently. You like all the colors you see in there, so pretty. Okay, so this has been frying for a minute or so. I'm just going to bring in the convict, which is one of the stars of this dish. I love convict so much, I must add, guys. So, all of it goes in. I'll just move this around. That's quite a lot, right? But I love it. And I'll just fry it up for a minute or so. So what I'm gonna do next is bring in some big stock and just yeah, that's what's gonna cook the pasta. Stir it around, and so I'm just gonna stir this. Gently, you can see that it's the sauce is already looking pretty. So what I'm going to do is bring in, just throw in some seasoning. This is just seasoning cube, 
chicken seasoning cubes and I'm using some curry powder and thyme and of course just a sprinkle of salt we're keeping the ingredients to its minimum barest minimum so that goes and I'm stirring this all around okay so I'm gonna grab the second style of this dish which of course is the spaghetti and my spaghetti is already pre-cooked just like I cooked it just slightly for about two minutes and I took it out so it's still really hard and it's gonna complete its cooking process inside this sauce because I want all of the flavor and the ingredients I added here to go right into the pasta as it cooks and then I'm gonna add a description below if you want to learn how to how to cook your pasta pasta perfectly I'm gonna put a link in the description box below and then you can click the link and watch the video I filmed a video tutorial for it some time ago okay so everything is gonna go in and then what I'm going to do is just toss it around to ensure that all of the strands are coated with the sauce this is going to be a very lush dish guys I tell you this corned beef sauce is just so perfect and very simple very easy to recreate what I'm going to do is just reduce the, my heat to medium low and then allow it to cook up for another four to five minutes so I'm just gonna cover the pot with the lid okay so guys let's check here oh lord it's perfect okay we will see that the pasta is the spaghetti is perfectly cooked just take a piece can you hear the sizzle guys mm. it's perfectly cooked now so add just a little pop of color to the dish and some freshness as always I mean it's mini <laughs> I'm gonna throw in some green bell pepper strips just a little bit of it just to pop out the entire dish and then just gently toss it around I told you guys where are all the green bell peppers though they all disappeared come back up <laughs> I told you guys we can make this dish in less than 25 minutes and I just proved it so I'll go, go ahead and have just a little taste just to entice you guys a bit and let you know what it tastes feels like or what it tastes like <laughs> so I'm just gonna swirl this around and grab some spaghetti in my fork I'm not gonna take a lot though and I'll blow 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 <gasps> it doesn't wanna stay this is fine the aroma is fantastic let's see how the taste is mm. Perfection is the word. That's all I'm going to say. You want to go recreate this recipe right now. And when you do, don't forget to send me your pictures on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm there as delicious food. I always like to see your creation. So this concludes our pasta series, guys. Sometimes later in the year, I might continue the series with another series of pasta recipes. But for now, it's bye-bye pasta recipes. <laughs> and then next month, I'm going to start off with some cake recipes. So I'm going to be showing you how to make beautiful and mouth-watering and sumptuous and delicious cake recipes. I'm sure you do not want to miss those series. that series, guys. Trust me, it's going to be fantastic. So stay tuned to the channel, okay? Alright guys, I'll see you next month. Take care and happy new month in advance.